Hi friends, I am Dr. K. R. Meghanath. I am an ENT surgeon and head of the department of ENT in Ma Hospital Private Limited, Hyderabad. Today we are talking about uh, laryngopharyngeal reflex (LPR). is a very common in ENT practice. We presume that average prevalence of this complaint or disease is around 10 to 20 percent. Most of the symptoms are experienced by the patients as the gastric contraint reflex backflow into the hypopharynx and larynx. But they don't have any esophageal motility disorder. They don't have any esophagitis or heartburn. This is the typical of LPR. Only complaint what they have is some sore throat, itching, irritation in the throat and in the larynx and they may have even in the upright position that is in the daytime and most of them will be having upper esophageal sphincter dysfunction. So most of these patients come with sore throat unexplained and they don't have much allergy and uh, they don't give any complaint of acid peptic disorder but only they will be having sore throat, little cough and irritation in the larynx and in the pharynx. So with this kind of presentation, if you want to investigate, you have to do the pH studies and they are a bit expensive, not freely available. So the accepted methodology of treatment reduce the acid production. This can be done with H2 receptor antagonist or antacids or proton pump inhibitors. There will be limited or temporary re relief with these medication, but uh, of all these things, PPI is the best treatment option in LPR. They require a little long duration of treatment. If there is improvement of symptoms with PPI, it's good, but unfortunately, Many of these patients don't respond to once daily PPI and they require twice daily dosage. So when it comes to the twice daily dosage, we have to give medication to cover the entire 24 hour spirit. In other disorders, probably we can manage with once daily dosage. But in my practice, what I observed is in LPR, we require a BID dosage even better alternate what we got nowadays is a ATMG tablet with controlled or sustained release. So clinical studies have reported that pantoprazole, which is a PPI, is very effective in the treatment of LPR. So we initiate the treatment with 40 mg and if there is no improvement, we increase the dose to 80 milligrams as a controlled release option. The problem with BAD dose is many times patients do miss their dose and they have to take an empty stomach and whereas that problem is solved with the controlled release pantoprazole ATMG. So this becomes a suitable treatment option and uh, I got very good result in my patients with uh, LPR who come to me with sore throat, itching in the throat and itching in the larynx are they required to frequent clearing of the larynx. Uh, this controlled release pantoprazole is effective even in the obese patients. Usually in my practice, I give three to six months of treatment with uh, pantoprazole ATMG controlled release and for the resolution of the symptoms. And after six months, if still they require pantoprazole, probably I will switch over to the 40 milligrams once daily dosage after the symptoms are controlled. This ATMG pantoprazole in a controlled release form is also useful in other conditions like erosive GERD, GERD with chest pain, with extra esophageal manifestations, and Nowadays, we see a lot of patients with uh, stress and anxiety uh, along with GRD because of the working atmosphere 
and these patients also get relief with a pentaprazole 80 mg once daily dosage thank you for 24 hours control of lpr grd and severe hyperacidity please prescribe nupenta 80 it will release gastro resistant pentaprazole 80 mg tablet nupenta 80 is a seven layered dual release tablet for superior stability of pentaprazole nupenta 80 comes with modified release technology wherein 25% of drug that is 20 mg pantoprazole releases at pH 5 in the proximal duodenum and 75% second release of 60 mg pantoprazole at pH 6.5 in distant ileum. Nupenta 80 offers improved clinical efficacy in patients with nocturnal acid secretion. Nupenta 80 offers two peak serum concentrations of the drug, one within 1 to 2 hour and other within 4 to 5 hour. Nupenta 80 offers longest period of drug retention in the blood serum ensuring 24 hour relief from acidity 